Linda Thomas, I'm a PA and I'm the Associate Medical Director here at Boston Healthcare for the Homeless. Yeah, there are many thousand homeless people in Boston and in order to be able to provide robust services and um, primary care across this network of shelters in Boston, um, physician assistants are critical. You do have some teeth in there though. We have 17,000 patient visits here a year. We have a Suboxone clinic, we have an HIV team, we see many primary care patients. Our team huddle in the morning before they see them to really develop the best intervention that they can for each particular patient. They're a very complicated, medically complicated group, uh, socially complicated, and having a team that's able to work with them has been really successful. This is uh, the Barbara McGinnis House, which is our respite unit. It has 104 beds for folks who are too sick to be in the shelters and not sick enough for the hospitals. And how about itchiness? Yeah, it's irritable and it's... And one place where I think there's so much value, a lot of value for physician assistants in our practice is in our medical respite facility, which, which is very much like an inpatient um, setting. You and I can go home after we're seen in the emergency and recuperate. Imagine yourself in a shelter and you have to get up at an out by six in the morning and you have an injury and you need to be on the streets in a cold day in Boston and then get back in at four o'clock. Crossing your fingers, you get a bed. I've been a PA for about 34 years and I've worked in a lot of settings, enjoyed them all, but when I came here, I felt this is what I was meant to do.